What's up, vloggers? Trey and Dumb Dog's behind the camera again. Right there. You can see in this mirror too, can't you? Yeah, right there. So a lot of people have been questioning about the shoulder. I went back to the physical therapist. I've been seeing a physical therapist and talked to him today. And I actually tried to do a little chest yesterday, light. And it, you know, it's not. If I can show you guys what I'm talking about, like this way this thing does. I got dust all over me because I've been moving mirrors and stuff around down this. Look at the dust coming off my shirt. It's me. So look at this. Look, look at the difference in these muscles right here. See that muscle? Yeah, it's higher right here. Show yeah. it on this side. It's low here. Right. Well, yeah. That's where I overcompensate. Like if I'm doing shoulder raises, I'm doing some kind of shoulder raises or something like that, I overcompensate big time. Like that sticks up way farther. See that? Look over here. It's not there at all, hardly. It's lower. Yep. That's how much I have to overcompensate. I got dirt all That's over. why. Look, stand straight on and that one yeah, TikTok. My chest. And that one TikTok we did. His left this, pec. This one. It's weird why this one's no, I guess it's not weird, because this shoulder's fine yeah. and you can push harder with that shoulder. What's what's weird though is this shoulder here is more defined and my biceps more defined than this side. I guess because I have to push and overcompensate so much with this side that it actually is over you know, it's doing whatever it is to this side. So if you look at me straight on, this shoulder is more defined with I got more veins in my biceps on this side. So it's weird. But this chest pack, which I think naturally your left covering your heart is supposed to be a little thicker. Most people, I've heard that. I don't know if it's true or not. Y'all can comment. Our down girl's below. left boobs bigger. Is that why the le is the left boob bigger or the right boob bigger? Can't answer that. Don't comment know. down below if your girl, if your left yeah. or right boobs bigger. Boobs bigger. Yeah. Because my left boobs bigger. This one's bigger. So anyway, that's that's the whole situation. But when he hit me, he hit me down up. He hit me down on here instead of the chest. He hit me in that that muscle right there, and that's what you know. He just deep bruised that muscles. What what the guy told me. But I can still push on that and it hurts. So, but I like I said, if you just sit there and do that, look at the difference in his muscles sticking up. It's just so much difference. It's not funny. Look at my chest when I do that. Look how look how much bigger this one is than my right. You know, if I flex my chest, we well, get spin this way a little bit. You can't really see it if I flex. Yeah, it you can't. No, I mean your shoulder. There is no striations in that shoulder. Right. And there's striations in, stradations shoulder. in that shoulder. So that's the lines right there. Right. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's because I, I have to use so much more of this shoulder because this well, shoulder that's is so much stronger. The, the injury is he can't push with this. So obviously that's why this pec is bigger because he can push with that side. Right. But he's over comp compensating with this side. Which that's why it's more defined. Shoulder. Right. Which is buys and shoulders right. and all that. So if we do front raises, or some kind of flies. I can do the movements. Like that right there is just uh, so sore right there, it's unbelievable. But I can do the movements, but then when I lay down and do a bench, you know, it's it's all I, I have to push so much harder with this side than I do this side. But anyway, when he hit that, man, it just took me to one knee because it immediately just bruised that whole muscle's been bruised. So it's been what, two weeks? I think yeah, I think like yeah, two weeks. It's been two weeks, I haven't done any any kind of chest and I tried to do man, look how dirty it's cutting some wood doing some stuff it's filthy but anyway uh, so yeah it, it's been a it's been a ride but it, it's definitely it took about, about after the first week I could definitely do just about anything I wanted but I didn't push any weight until yesterday which was chest and then we did legs today and then we've been moving gears and stuff around it's just got to do some one of those things that it'll, it'll let you know oh stop you can't do that that hurts don't do that so but for the most part i appreciate everybody's interest in checking on me and all that stuff but i think it's yeah there's been thousands, thousands and thousands of to comments. come across all the social media so I figure maybe we'll do an update video i'm trying to let everybody know that it's i'm not 100 percent, but it never has been 100 percent. and i got to work with comp claim through it for work and that's you know it's i was 80 something or 10 percent disabled or something so i always did overcompensate on that side so if your shoulder doesn't hurt you that bad and they want you to get shoulder surgery i would say don't do it i wish i could go back and not do it i would definitely have not done it if i know what i know now but you know hindsight's 2020 20. ain't that what they say yeah but anyway i don't uh i didn't know that so obviously i went ahead and 
did the surgery than they did it the first time. And like I've told you a hundred times, they had to go back in and do it again. It's like, gosh, so that's where I stand. So, but that's the first time I've ever really had to, it scared me when he hit me with that thing. I thought, man, he's tore, tore the shoulder or something. And it was a stupid toilet brush. But just the way he came down on it, I guess, from that, from that thing being as inflamed as it is and overgrown compared to the rest of my shoulders, it immediately about put me to one knee. So, but it's coming around and it feels a ton better. But it, it comes and goes. Like I've heard it, how many times have I heard it in the gym? Twice. Yep. Two or three times I've heard it in the gym, like where I can't hardly, I won't be able to do chest for a month. So this wasn't like that. You know, we were doing skull crushers. <clears throat> I mean, pretty heavy skull crushers at Crunch one time. And I literally just felt it pop. And I'm like, God, fuck. I could still rack the weight, but then my, whatever it is, like if I lay down with dumbbells, whatever the balance part for this arm is gone. But I've got myself now to where I can actually still push, like especially with a Nautilus equipment, or like the, that, that's why we got that Smith machine over there, that yeah. new Smith machine, because it holds the weight. I don't have to balance the weight. When I have to balance weight, I actually have to turn this arm like this and push it like this. Because if I hold it out like this, I can't, I can't really balance it. It's really, it's hard to explain. I, I guess only a surgeon or somebody knows what holds all that together in there is what's jacked up. But, but on my strength on the dumbbell presses are, you know, used to be when I was a kid, I was doing the 150s for, you know, six or eight, and I can't, there's no way I can do that right now. Just because it, it's just not, it's not 100% obviously. My left side's still, you know, strong and ready to go, you know, like a banny rooster, but the right side's, uh, Sorry, sorry. That's, That's what I can say. So other other than that, down here we've been uh, moving some mirrors around. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. We set that mirror, a little bit of hillbilly engineering. There's two. Don't show them that. It's embarrassing. <laughs> There's two 50 pound. That mirror's already broke at the bottom, and it's balanced in between there. It can't go anywhere. It's not like it's going to fall. There's two. So I tried to get it up in there a little bit. I was going to run a board in the bottom of that chimney. But you got to move all the dumbbells, move the thing out. And I said, let's just put it in between that rack. It'll be fine. It so, can't go anywhere. So yesterday we hung this one up higher so you can see yourself. And then Trey did this one when? Over the weekend? It's on Saturday. I hung that one. Yeah, hung that one higher up so you can see yourself better. And then, well, this one used to be back over here by the, what's that called over there? The vertical leg press. So there's three individual mirrors over there right now. Those that, mirrors over there are all broke except for one. All those mirrors are broke, so we just kind of tuck them in behind each other and hide it, hillbilly fly it, and it kind of looks like you're stepping down. Got to go for the looks, you know what I mean? And then we just, just hung this one right behind the treadmill and stuff. I guess you can obviously turn around from the dumbbells and do it this way, too. I mean, we're dealing want. with total redneck ingenuity here, so, but it works fine. Cut a slit in the 2 by 4 and then just mounted it to the wall, and then did another little slit up there on that little guy. That whole wall is all crooked and... Hangs all cattywampus, so it's hard to. It's it like to try to hang a mirror flat against that wall with like mirror brackets. You couldn't do it because a mirror. On look, I mean, look at the difference here. I mean, I know it's far out there, but if you come up here, like when when we were, it's pushed against the center right there. That's how far it is out from the wall. You're talking inch and a half from the wall, and I know it's in the slot of this, but the wall is bowed out in the middle, so the wall is actually against the mirror right there. And then you have this much room on this side, so it's like you're kind of a uh, six one half dozen the other. So you got to do a little redneck, redneck ingenuity, like I like to call it, a little rigging. That's right down my alley. So just rig it and do it that way. And I'll have flags and stuff. You won't see that wood. It'll it'll look good when it's done. Yeah. It'll, it'll be hillbilly fun enough. You won't even notice it when it's done. It's not done yet. So these from we got to rehang these from from Bell Mill, but. Yeah, because we cause we moved that there. I'm not I'm not really too fond of that mirror there. I think it looks out of place, but what what doesn't look in place down here? You know what I mean? So honestly, are you really gonna get that technical with with it? But now the mirrors are actually hung up where you can see your face and I had two there that looked like total doll crap. I moved them over here in front of the moved them in front of the curl curl thing. And that looks better like that. Yeah, there's three right there. Move these behind here to hide the back of the TV and stuff and the wires. That big mirror is broke, so I pushed it back in there as far as you could so you can't really see it. 
Right hey, there. you gotta do what you gotta do. So, we almost got a mirror for every machine now. So when you're doing whatever you're doing, you can look at yourself and smile and say, say cheese. So, Amy's calling you. Yeah, I think they're hanging that TV. But that's the update. We want to give you an update. Hopefully it answers all your questions. Where are you at on time? Ten minutes. You gonna run with that? Yeah. That's garbage. But it is well, what it is. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, that's basically it in a nutshell. I mean, you know, we we uh, try to keep you all posted what's going on in our lives, and that's what was going on in our lives. I, I didn't work out at all last week. So, um, I guess I'll be back at it hot and heavy next week. I should be good, what he's telling me. I should be able to push. Well, we did legs today. You can do legs. I did, we did le I did legs. I've been running on the treadmill and stuff and trying to do that. But even the running and the walking, the swinging and stuff, just had it aggravated as crap. So I just put Icy Hot on that, my knees, my whole body. She's having a fit. We're filming. What's up? I, uh, how much longer do you guys have? It's probably two and a half hours at least. We're coming. Ten, ten minutes, maybe. What's up? Uh, Justin, we, they're, they're getting ready to put the hole in for the... Um, the cables? And we need to know if you want it in the center of the room or in the center of the wall, minus the door. Well, I don't know. We'll be I'll be there in a second. All right. Well, I, I All know, right. That's why I've been calling like 500 times. I need you here like 15 minutes ago. All right. Love you. Bye. You can hang up. That's good. <laughs> She's, we're, and they're in the middle of all kinds of stuff. We haven't updated it or not. We actually moved to the basement and stuff, and we got a new TV for the living room, but that'll all be in a future video. You'll all see that if you want to see it or not. But Yeah, comment down below, right, Justin? Yeah, comment down below. But we want to give you an update on what's going on with Trey, and I guess he's coming back on, what is it, healthy healthy road to recovery. We call healthy it that. Healthy road to recovery. Healthy road. I'm not healthy road to recovery when I'm around you at all. I got high blood pressure and I have a heart attack 90% of the time. Oh, see, see the mirrors against the wall right here. Check that out. That'll show you. At the mid, in the middle, see the wall, the wall yeah. is bowed out. My house is falling down. It's hard to see it right there. Can't really tell. My house is falling down. We get, we get a hard wind, I'm gonna be in a ditch. It is bowed down. Yeah, and we had to drill holes today too. I can't be really, I, feel, I can't be really, I can't afford to drill any more holes in this dump, it's gonna fall on me. And there, there, there where I be then, screwed. Oh yeah, and I, the March 23rd, we're actually getting, that, both the houses are going to be insulated, so we'll probably film some of that too if you all want to see that for to help with the crazy electric bills as we're coming into summer, but the bills are going to be cut in half anyways, but. I hope, I hope it's more than half. Dang it. I to take a loan out to pay the diagonal electric bill around here. It's ridiculous. Thank you all more we know, or Thank more you. you know, subscribe here, subscribe to Ask the Bell Life, and then check us out on thebelllife.com for all the comedy stuff. See you on the next one.